for me, it's a it's a very it's a very high possibility. Um, and we've talked to a lot of people that have have some very interesting tales about that. Um, the one that jumps right out as the most incredible would be Greg Yost telling me that he saw nine or ten Bigfoot climb into a UFO and leave. And you're like, wow, nine or ten? Is that any more or less believable than one? Um, and so we do hear a lot. I've never seen a Bigfoot get into a UFO, um, but we've been told by lots of people that they've seen lots of action and, and things like that. Um, I can only think of Greg as the one that is saying, I've actually seen Bigfoot get in and out of a, a, a UFO, but it does seem that lots of the areas that are Bigfoot hotspots are also UFO hotspots. Is it different interpretations? Is it coincidental? But I don't, I don't know, but there's definitely something there. I believe that the Bigfoot is alien-oriented or, because I believe he's an Nephilim. Um, there's too many things that the Bigfoot can do that um, he shouldn't be able to. Um, mind speak. Um, I've seen him do mind speak and I've, uh, people have really freaked out when it happened and uh, uh, the fairies, like the lights and the orbs and all this kind of stuff, uh, it, it's, it's all been documented. Uh, I believe that uh, Bigfoot is Nephilim. It is a uh, human woman and a angel. One guy, he may be able to disappear. One guy, he might always, he, he, they're in varying degrees of what's, of the gifts that it has or whatever, but it's a, it's a hybrid between the, the Nephilim, uh, the, the human, the human, uh, woman. the human woman and the uh, and the angel man. 